Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a little gadget you can make to really help you get in that sharp focus. Now, we've all been there when uh, you you get your uh, target in your, in your eyepiece, and it may, whether that's a planet or whatever, and you do fiddle around the focus and every time you touch the telescope it moves a bit and the atmosphere is moving in and out and you say to yourself am i in focus am i not in focus well with this little gadget okay that uh, some of you may already have and didn't know you had and that is your dust cover okay now let me explain if you haven't got a dust cover like this and when i, when I say like this what i mean is it's got to have these two caps on now some of them only have one cap on, okay? And if that's the case, you can make exactly the same thing at a cardboard, okay? But let me just show you first what I mean, how we're gonna adapt this, because you will have to adapt a, a little bit, even if you've got a dust cover, cover like this. Now these caps, remove, or at least one of them removes, okay, which, can be a bit mysterious to some people as why you know you know do I leave do I leave, do I do I telescope through that you know and take just that one off but no you you do take them all off okay you take the old cover off uh, I'll explain what that is for in a, in a minute um, but on this one and on most uh, dust covers for some strange reason this is a, like a dummy version of of this all right but what I've done is I've made it so it's got two holes in it because originally this had a, a black piece of plastic if you like over over the front and it was just a blank and what i did is i just carefully went round and round and round it with a craft knife until it slowly weakened the plastic and i was able to push it through okay and what that has actually done is made myself uh made myself myself a uh, focusing mask if you like, and you can do exactly the same with your telescope and your dust cover. And like I said, if you haven't got one, make it out of cardboard, exactly like that. But if you're gonna make it out of cardboard, you wanna make it just a slightly bit bigger than the uh, circumference of your telescope, okay? Because what you're gonna do then is just put two screws in, two longish screws, at uh, 11 o'clock and two o'clock, if you like. And what that you do then is you would hang this on the uh, it would be supported with your, tube, your telescope tube and just hang on the front of your scope like that. Okay, but if you've got a mask that you can uh, adapt like this, then all the better. The way this works is, imagine this is on your telescope, okay, you placed it on, and you get uh, your object, we'll say for example uh, Saturn, we've got a planet in, in, in our target, as, as our target. Now, the best way I can describe this is if your uh, planet uh, is out of focus and you've got this on your telescope in place that you've already made, okay, what you get is a double image, something like that, okay, Saturn, you'll get two Saturns, okay, if it's out of focus. And when you're getting it into focus, the, the idea is to merge these two uh, images of Saturn in this example together so you get one image okay so if it's out of focus and if it's really out of focus you'll get two okay and then as you bring it into focus it'll merge like that and as soon as it snaps together well then you've got real good focus now this is one of them uh, little tricks that you know I, I, I remember finding out a few years ago and just like oh, I said, oh, yeah, that's you know that's so useful um, one of the little gems that you just stick with and that's I just thought I'd share with you and you know give it a try and see if it does help because you're not sensitive scopes are when you when you've got on high magnification a slight touch of the focus there it's it's wobbling about and if the atmosphere is a little bit unstable you're never quite sure whether you've got that focus well now you've got a little gadget where you can just check and make sure but oh remember to take it off okay after you've uh, after you've got focus now i did say earlier about you know why i'd tell you why they do come like this well this is an, again 
something that not many people use and they, they should be doing, especially when they're looking at things like the moon. Okay, now the moon is very bright as we all know and it can, actually it can be quite blinding uh, sometimes when you, when you, you know, you, you, you light it out to it and you think, well, I'll quick look at the moon and it's, whoa, <laughs> you know, that's it, your night vision gone. And of course we, we use filters and if you just happen to not have a filter on you or something, if you do this, okay, just take one of them off, okay, and then put your cup dust cover dust cover back on, okay, that com dramatically reduces the light that's getting into your telescope. Now, I know that may sound strange because as astronomers we're all hungry for light, uh, but when it comes to the moon, you know, we, 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 don't, <laughs> we don't need that much light grasp. And this will just take that glare out a little bit um, and, you know, help you just, just see a little bit more detail without it being so, so blinded. Well, uh, that wraps it up for this one. I know it's a little bit of a short video, but uh, like I said, I just thought I'd share this one with you because uh, any little tip that I use and find useful, I'll definitely be sharing with you. Anyway, I hope you find it of some use. Give it a go. You know, I'm, I'm sure it'll help you with that focus. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe because I do do regular uploads. In the meantime, hope to catch you on the next one. Take care. See you soon.